Hello guys, I'm Jazz to Travels. I apologize in advance for the loud sound behind me. I'm sorry about that. So this week's video is going to be pretty awesome. We're going to be making a cool uh, vector-like background. So to start things off, I'm going to open a new document. Any size is fine. I don't mind. And I'm going to double click on it to make it an active layer. And I'm going to select Create Overlay. We're going to then choose three shades of blue. Any blue view is fine. Just go from light to a darkish blue. Doesn't matter what size. But once you have your um, dark, your blues, click OK. And you're good to go. And look at that. There's your background. OK, now we're going to start making our lovely circle. So we're going to grab our lovely elliptical, elliptical round, round tool, clips tool, and we're going to make a circle right in the dead center. Okay, once you've made your circle, double click on your shape layer, and you're going to add a stroke. I'm going to choose around 8, 8 px for mine. Click OK. We're good to go there. Now, we're going to have to make a new layer above that, or below that, rather. So, take, so make a new layer below that. And on this new layer, you're going to then grab um, some of these cool splatter type brushes. I have some already installed on my computer, but you may not. If you do not, I will leave some for you in the description box below for you to download. But if you have your own splatter brushes, by all means, use your own. And then what you're going to do is you're then going to splatter on some brushes. And let me just show you what that's going to look like. I have my layers already made with that. So picking various colors, you're going to then go like that, like that, and voila. All right, and as you've noticed, I've added some other cool stuff. So make another new layer below what you just made with your lovely little um, splatters. And you're going to add some swirl brushes that are white. And again, you may not have swirl brushes on your computer. I do, so that's why I've used them. I will again provide the link for you to download below in the description box. But again, if you have your own swirl type brushes and you want to use those, feel free to. I don't judge. Okay? And just place them in various spots throughout your lovely image. Right around the back. Alright, and then, so once you have those various ones selected, you then will notice that I've made a lovely, cool starburst effect. Now, how did I get that starburst effect, you're wondering? Well, let me show you. So I went over to my brushes, and we have used this star brush, brush before. Um, it's one of these ones here. I just chose, I think it was this one here. Well, let me click on the layer so you can see. It was this one here. And you just want to place it right in the center of the image. And then what I did with that layer is I dropped the opacity down to 30%. And I used white. I used a bluish color, a darkish blue, lighter blue, not really dark, lighter blue, lighter blue slash white color, and then I just dropped the opacity on the left to 30%, and I got this lovely effect right here. Now, we're going to go a little bit further. You can stop right here. Because this is a cool tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a photo into your circle. If you want to add a photo into the circle, all you have to do is open a photo. I'm going to open this one here. Grab your lovely elliptical marquee tool, and you want to select a circular portion of your photo. Okay, so, oops, mine's way at the bottom. You want to make sure you place this on the top, by the way, and if you're photos like mine, you will need to resize it to suit the size of your lovely circle. So just resize it just a bit, not too much, but just enough to so it fits on side. Okay. 
Okay, now to make this really fit in nicely, I'm going to go ahead and um, add a mask to this. So we're going to do a, a command click on the vector's thumbnail. <laughs> click on the circle, and then you're going to add a layer mask to this so that way she is inside the circle. Perfect. Okay. Well, that is simple. Now, if you want to add some more effects to this, you can. You don't have to. Um, if you want to add a um, color balance to suit the blue hue to your photo, you can. I think I'm just going to leave mine as is. I mean, it's it's a simple tutorial. It's for, it's for a beginner, so I don't want to go too advanced on this. But anyway, that's the basics of how to make it. I hope it was helpful, and again, I apologize for all the loud sounds behind me, but I couldn't make this video at my house for some unknown reason. So, yeah. Alright, I'm going to leave you with this, and I hope this was helpful to you. If you like my video, hit subscribe. If you love it, hit like. If you have any questions or comments or concerns or suggestions, comment below or inbox me here. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on Saturday. Bye!